ladies and gentlemen, me. Oh. Hello. How's it going? Uh, you know, this is actually a, kind of a nightmare scenario for me, so it's a really good thing none of you are real, and I'm just putting in the sound effects and post. What? Except little John over there. Sorry. Uh, thank you for coming out, man. Really appreciate it. Wow. Wow. Look at, welcome to my first open mic, um, in my apartment, alone. I've always wondered how comedians prepare things like this, and I guess they must just live their lives and constantly be thinking about how they could turn various experiences into a bit for their act, and like, that seems like so much work to me. I can't be actively thinking all day, every day about content. Like that's crazy, like impressive, like crazy imp in an impressive way. But damn, I do have this like subconscious delusional belief. I Every time I start talking, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Every time I start talking, Cusco, has to slam into something. Hey, he's going inside the cabinet right now. I'm already trying to be quiet, it's midnight. <clears throat> I have this made up delusional scenario in my head that if I were to actually do this, like real life in front of a live audience, do a stand up comedy routine, the audience would kind of just uh, la laugh at everything I said, but in a way of like, oh, she's trying, you know? Not like, oh my god, incredible talent, but like, oh, maybe this is her make-a-wish, you know? Sorry. I really, really, Kuzco. I had a conversation with her. I made a promise to myself before filming this. I made a promise to myself before filming this that I wouldn't take make any low-hanging fruit jokes. Um, but they're the only ones I can reach. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Um, he's been running around for like two hours. And I thought he would be done by now. Whatever, so I did get this app that I thought we could try. Kuzco, are you trying to like communicate? I got an app from the app store. I searched improv game or something. Basically, it just gives you a bunch of prompts. So let's see, whirlwind poker player who's afraid of clowns. What? Milkman trying to convert someone to their religion. If you ever find yourself feeling a little fragile, a little, um, calcium deficient, a little, a little, a little brittle, consider welcoming milk into your life. Here at the Chapel of Cream, we we do all things milk. We drink the milk, we bathe in the milk, we have cows on site, but then we also have a bunch of nut milk machines as well. But you have to do it yourself with the squeezy bag thing. Um, so that's part of the pro- You know, uh, we have services every Wednesday evening at 8 p.m and you must wear a bathing suit. Trust, tr I can't say why uh, I'm not allowed. That's in the agreement that we came up with at the town hall meeting, but um, just trust me, you'll want to. And bring a, 
and bring a jug. Okay. Okay. My brother in dairy. Join our church and become a brother in cream today. Cream. That was more of a commercial than anything else. Prison snitch. Admitting to using steroids in a sport. Prison snitch. I told my friends. I told my friends. Nope. I don't do voices. I don't know why. The police came and I told my friends. Nope. Whoa. <laughs> Call the police. And I... I had to tell all my friends. What was the rest of it? <laughs> all I remember was prison snitch. Admitting to using steroids in a sport. And I got a scholarship to... Because I play football so good. And, uh, like, really good. Like, like, I think people are a little bit scared because I'm so good. Like, and I've had some people voice their concerns to me. Uh, and, you know, I, I just, I'm here to say that, that I, I am having the assistance of, of, of steroid to, I don't know. Interesting mob boss who has never even heard of the internet. Can't do a New York accent. Oh my god, ew. I've been, I've been away from... I've been away from the East Coast for too long. I've been away from the East Coast for too long. Why am I, like, talking like a smoker? I can't fuck. <laughs> I can't fucking think right now. I'm walking it. What is it? Forget about it. I'm walking in. Get a fucking piece of pizza. What was it again? Mob boss who has never even heard of the internet. Yeah, so my son. My son, after we got done on that, that last heist. What did mob people do? After we finished that last robbery. <laughs> after we finished that last robbery. Okay, my son said that he used this thing called Googie. Said he used this thing called Google. And I had to add, I thought it was a drug. I said, son, I said, son, do we gotta talk? We gotta talk to your mother about this. I completely gave up on the accent. Um, I don't use the app anymore. Anyway. You like this? I made this. I made this. You think it's funny? I think it's funny. I was laughing about it. I was giggling about it. And, ugh, I'm so uncomfortable. I couldn't, I can't imagine ever doing something like this in front of actual people like live people like there's just a camera in front of me and i am so uncomfortable right now i've had <laughs> i've had this video idea i say that very loosely in my head for like weeks now but my whole my whole plan was just oh let's not plan like anything you know the plan was no plan and like that's cool you know but How's the audio, by the way? I won't know till I edit this. Um, but I thought this would be fun to try. You know? Look, it's cool. I could walk around. I 
I could walk around. You guys like TikTok? I like TikTok. I like it. But sometimes, sometimes, I feel like I'm, I should be bringing some of the stuff up with my therapist. Like some of the stuff I see on there makes me think things or like feel things that are like, I'm not sure what they are and if they're healthy, you know what I'm, you know what I mean? My favorite thing is when I find someone or something that I think is what I like to call a breathing, walking red flag and like observing them like a science experiment. Like, look, I'm not trying. Look, 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 look. Sometimes you just see something and you're just like, this could be a funny act for the camera. I'm hot shit for the camera act, right? But for some reason, you can, you can just tell that it's not. And it's, it's just fascinating. Just do a wall sit while we're at it. Not doing shit else anyway. If you step on the keyboard again. <laughs> get summer's coming, brothers. I didn't really have anything else to add to that other than I'm very happy about it, dude. Just in case you're wondering what I'm looking at right now. What would Ashley Marcy think of where I am today? What if, what if I am just her? Did any of you guys ever think about that? Probably not. <laughs> what if that was always the real me? Trying to get out, screaming. Crying, clawing for the surface. Because I haven't had any ideas involving that character for a really long time. So I'm starting to think maybe she's just taken form. Maybe she's materialized. What if? No, that wouldn't have made sense. <laughs> I was about to say, what if the real Ashley... There it... I need to come back to that thought. Uma, you want to say hi? Uma, say hi. Come here. They can't see you. Oh, they can kind of see you. How do you edit a video like this? I mean, I didn't really have an intro either. I don't want to say that thing again of like, I don't know what this was, but I don't. Um, this was definitely just like an experimental type video for me. I really want to start trying new things with my content. Um, so this was just me kind of testing the waters with that and I'm going to continue to do so. And I'm excited about it. I think it'll be fun. Things, things are, things are, uh, things are pretty good these days. I can't lie. I hope you enjoyed this or it gave you some form of entertainment or serotonin or joy. Maybe you, maybe you giggled at the Emporium. That's what it's for. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And in the meantime, I'll see you on Twitch and on my Twitter, or Instagram, whatever else. Uma, Uma, come say bye. Say bye. Good girl. Love you, bye.